Hello everyone, today we're gonna have a show match between Latino and Italian, those two really experienced play players, but from the one, but from the two experts actually will get a show match on Forza Vizen. I know, that's bad. Anyway, in this show match been actually casted by Yoshi and the link to his channel will be in the description down below. So definitely check him out, there will be an entire stream, uh, 4 games that been played uh, in this show match between those two uh, extremely good players. Now let's get into the game. Welcome in the first game in the series in this show match Latino against Italian. But from the one, but from the two experts playing their game respectively. We get game one on but from the one. It's going to be Latino in the bottom playing as Isengard, and his opponent. It seems that Ectelion is going to be Isengard as well. War champion choose by uh, Ectelion as well as Latino. So, at least for now, Ectelion is aware of the situation. He knows what to do at the beginning of the game, and he decided to go with Lambermel. Next, after two furnaces, which is. Um, not a bad decision, but of course Latina decided to go for another furnace because it's near base, it's a first furnace, and now they may, may move forward with their respective Urukais. Let's check if they choose their races. No indeed, and of course we got uh, Yoshi and Unicorn, I guess, casted this uh, replay. So Latina will take down this number for sure, while Ectelon will, uh, will struggling to in order to deal some damage. He will go for definitely for some Uruk pet right now, just because he saw the threat on his side of the map. While Latina decided to go for the sentry tower over there in order in order to block this uh, lumber mill from being taken down, taken, and of course to protect those furnaces. Let's check the amount of resources that Latina possessed. Now he got enough resources. He decided to go for lumber mill on the side of his opponent. Um, there is a Uruk pet. And Urukais will uh, be pap out, but of course, Warchan been used or Ectelion, and he is not able to deal damage. The Sentry Tower been cancelled, and he's trying to destroy the furnace at the moment. And he may run out of uh, time with this uh, Warchan, and it's actually what's happened. He don't know what to do and where to do it. He's trying to avoid this Sentry Tower, but uh, to be honest, the Sentry Tower is not able to kill him. Another Sentry Tower on the way, so 300 resources used on uh, Latina oh, and let's that. check if this Lumberman is going down or this Warden is going down. We got two Lumbermans at the moment for Latina so he got an advantage anyway even if he lost this Warden. This is the first Warden that he threw down and there is the Uruk pit for him as well. Sentry Tower is up and running and of course this Warden may go down but uh, he's fully secured and uh, got enough resources to rebuild it in completely no time. Warden been used already by Ectelion. So there is no chance for him to do it. Now Latina is coming back, he will take another Lumber Mill and from this point on, oh, let's check the map. Ectalion is still struggling, still fighting for his Lumber Mill. He got only two furnaces. He will get ahead in Uruk Pet uh, and amount of units that he possessed. But after all, there will be nothing else for the player to, to fight with. Uh, pretty decent micro but not enough. The Sentry Tower is able to pick him up. And as we can see, Latina got um, actually a map control, pretty decent map control. Overall, with those two sentry towers blocking the path, Urukais may pop out, first battalion is coming out, another on the way, a lumber mill on the side of the opponent, lumber mill on his side also. So, um, there's a big threat, there's a big threat, and um, Latina oh, got an advantage on every corner of the map. Three lumber mills to oh, only two, and uh, constant harassment on both sides. Looks like we got some more labor scum. Let's check, of course, more and more Urukai. It's nothing, labor, nothing does matter at this Put point. Why Ectelium is trying to receive over to go for Urukai's also. Warriors, also. So this is a mirror matchup, so nothing, nothing labor, really uh, so that interesting, like to be honest. Scum. As we can see, Urukai's will fight with each other. Warchan will be used at the moment. Two Urukai battalions, they will get into the base of the opponent, maybe even destroy the Citadel 
or rather destroy the Uruk pet that just received level 2. First Berserker on the way for Ectaion, but as we can see he's not able to retake those uh, Lumbermas on the side of his opponent. He will be able though to retake his side's uh, Lumbermas. And let's check what's going to happen. If this Uruk pit is going down, it's going to be a huge deal and pretty decent advantage on Latino's side. And no block formation used by Latino on this Uruk high battalion. Actually now he just uh, pop it out. And let's check if the Uruk pit will go down. You may say that Uruk Pit in this point of the game is not that important, but of course you would like to get um, as fast as possible those Urukais. And now there is no way for more Berserkers and one Berserker on the battlefield. And this Uruk Pit may go down. Let's check the amount of units that remains over there. Yes, indeed, it's going down for sure. One of those crazies has just been and there is another Berserker for, berserker for Ectelion. He needs to push forward, he needs to push forward, he needs to push towards the base of his spawn because more furnace is coming up, um, Urukhais will pop out more sentry towers, so it's going to be tougher and tougher, if he's not going to do it now, or he's not going to creep some Urukhai and some warplers, it's going to be so tough on his end to deal enough damage, lots of lumber orcs over there, they will retake this uh, lumber mill definitely and create lumber mill again. So as you can see there is no way, there is no way for um, Ectelion to do anything, he loses the lumber mill, he loses the barrack at the moment and he got to recreate it, he got only three furnaces, this furnace should be oh, to be honest right here, so the industry might pop out into those three uh, furnaces, uh, but of course uh, Ectelion may know, not know it, while he is but from the two player rather than but from the one player but I, I got to say, I got to say I expect the uh, worst game from him but from the one so that's even more than I expected creeping on the side for uh, Ectelion using the war chant in the mirrors it's really important not to waste war chant two berserkers forward in order to destroy the Labramel and there is another that will be for Latina actually. Warchon being used also on the Berserker, but is it enough? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. This Berserker, all of Latina will go down. But there is the counter attack, there is another Warchon, and this is going to be horrible. Only one furnace received actually war, um, in the last three for some reason. I think this is a mistake, or rather a misclick on Ectelion's side. One of those crazies has just been spoiled. Furnace goes down, this furnace goes down. is screwing down another Uruk pet, um, which cost him money and space. It's not looking that good. It's not looking that good at all. Berserker girls are going to crush those uh, Uruk highs at the moment. One of them got to retreat home, half have gone. Furnace on level 2 and with industry may go down. Latino just receive his industry and let's check how it goes. This person will push back to Sentry Tower for Ectelion. But as we can see still, it's it's rather it's rather Latina that uh, taking advantage. Actually, this industry should be used right over there. Those furnaces got level two, so they produce more resources. So to be honest, bad use on, on, on industry of the of industry on Latino side. It should be used over there. There is an only Urukai of Ectalion dealing damage to the Orc Slumbers, but it doesn't really matter at the moment. As there are three Urukai, Uruk Pets. Spam of units is not going to work against your opponent. You don't have pikes, you can only create more Urukais to be honest, and it's not going to work. There are lots of Berserkers, and let's check if Latina got the Manical Warchant. Yes, he got Warchant. And uh, there we go. Lots of Berserkers, Urukais though too, and I uh, don't think so that uh, Ectel will be able to push his opponent back at the moment. It may be the end actually. It may be the end. Those two Uruk pits may go down. This uh, Uruk pit received level 2. There is only one Berserker that received War Charm, but it's not going to deal any damage actually. And uh, it's going down. It's going down. More Uruk, uh, more Berserkers for Latina. So he's not going for upgrades, he just goes straight for the Berserkers, tons of Berserkers in order to destroy the opponent's base. And this is actually what works uh, on the, his side of the map. So those sentry towers dealing damage, but they will be taken down. Actarian is trying to protect himself, throwing all the resources in sentry towers in order just to protect himself. But it's going to be tougher and tougher for him to do it. 
Of course, he will be able to protect himself, and the Citadel will stay strong, but uh, the amount of resources now that he spends on it is uh, dramatic. There's no way that he can may come back from it. He got 1k resources, but um, the Uruk Pit is going down. He doesn't have Uruk Pit on level 2. He doesn't have actually all the spots secure on his map. And two furnaces only uh, outside the base, which are in constant danger of... Uh, Latina's Berserker, it's not looking good, it's not looking good in the slightest um, and industry been used first time pretty well but it seems that Ectelion will leave the game or will be just defeated because he is aware of the situation there is no hope for him at the moment and Ectelion has been defeated, game 1 has been won by Latina in the super uh, fast fashion with Berserkers and uh, only one pet uh, with three furnaces start and uh, sentry tower so it was rather obvious and rather one-sided anyway thank you for watching and let's check game number two